a well-known social club in West Las Vegas may shut down permanently. The city of Las Vegas voted to have a disciplinary hearing next month for the Perrin Elks Lodge, the business located near Owens and I-15. It has been temporarily closed for about a month. Metro Police shut it down, claiming it to be a public nuisance. 8 News Now reporter Kristen Drummond is there live now with the latest. Brian Prawn's Elks Lodge is a fixture here in West Las Vegas, primarily serving the black community since the 1950s. But the nonprofit social club's future remains uncertain. A close sign is up, and the doors are locked to members for the last month. But the meeting today in front of city council did not deal with wanting to open it up again. It was about setting a date for a disciplinary hearing. This comes after Metro filed a roughly 80 page complaint detailing incidents of violent crimes, uncooperative employees and safety issues. City staff also says it's failing to be up to code, but the lodge argues it's made changes, including fixing the metal detector and adding a computerized list of members because they're required Required to sign in and have an ID. Council approved a disciplinary hearing date of September, but encourages the launch in Metro to meet up and work out their differences before then. And I do think that the, the sides will come to the table in good faith. I think that meeting is already in the works to happen sooner rather than later, and that's really what we're what we were looking for. Yeah, the main concern is public safety, so as long as they can come to terms with what we need to make sure that the public stays safe, then I think we will we'll have a, a good turnout. So this isn't the only battle the lodge faces. The lodge filed an injunction to reopen after Metro, Metro shut it down in June as part of a 90 day closure. A court date is set for tomorrow at one. The temporary closure has affected 24 employees and numerous members who like to frequent this establishment often. But after that court date tomorrow, once a decision is made there and whether or not it can reopen, Metro, the city and the lodge are planning to tentatively meet together next week to hopefully come up with a solution. Reporting live, Kristen Drummond, 8 News Now. All right.